Welcome to Home Farm on a beautiful day. Today I'm going to be looking at nematodes. So the whole thing that got me into nematodes is that a couple of weeks ago I was working in our veg patch in one of the raised beds and I came across a worm that roused a bit of suspicion because it just looked so different. After a bit of research I discovered that this was a wire worm. Now it's not uncommon to get wire worm when you convert grassland or fields like we did into a veg patch and basically these worms are as a result of click beetles that have laid their eggs deep underground underneath the turf and over the course of a few years these worms basically emerge now the biggest problem with wire worms is that they devastate root crops uh, potatoes being one of the biggest ones and we're obviously growing potatoes so i looked into ways of combating wire worms and after a bit of research, I discovered that one of the most organic and natural ways of doing it is to introduce nematodes. Now, up until this point, I had only heard the word nematodes. I had no idea what they were. And after a bit of research, I discovered that they're multicellular microscopic worms that you basically introduce to the soil and they basically prey on certain things in the soil. By all accounts, there are millions of different types of nematodes uh, and each one has its own purpose and role. So in our instance, the nematode that we have purchased is one that will actively find the wire worm and destroy them in the soil. This is obviously an organic way uh, of getting rid of pests that will protect your crops uh, by not having to use chemicals uh, or other pesticides that may not necessarily be great for us or the soil. So we went online and came across a company called nematodesdirect.co.uk uh, we have found their customer service to be absolutely excellent. Uh, so if you are looking for a good supplier in the UK, I would certainly recommend them. So this is our potato bed. We've got the nine potatoes at the end there, they're Maris Pipers. Uh, this is the bed that we found the wireworms in. The tricky portion of this is that you have to introduce the nematodes to the soil at a time when there are actually wireworms in there because they are ultimately the food source for the nematodes. So in order to know what's happening, you can see that there are a couple of skewers in uh, amongst the potatoes. Basically, these are quarter cut potatoes that I've added to the soil. They basically act as traps for the wire worms. We introduced those while we're waiting for the nematodes to arrive. And what they do is they're also going to tell us whether there are wire worms present now yesterday, when I came down here, I pulled this skewer out of the ground and we can see there's a little hole there and that is textbook wireworm activity. So that would indicate that there are wireworms present in the soil, despite us only having come across three up until this point, I would imagine that they're going to be a bit more. So we're probably going to mix up the nematode solution uh, probably today or tomorrow. We'll obviously show how we do that on this video uh, and introduce it to the soil. While we were on the Nematodes Direct website, we also came across a general vegetable nematode package that they've got that targets a number of different pests. So we purchased a few packs of those just to be on the safe side. As we can see, we've obviously reclaimed uh, our veg pad area from extensive grassland. Uh, as we have gone through the soil, we have found any number of things that I have not been able to identify. Uh, and you don't want to just indiscriminately destroy and kill all the insects that you come across because some are beneficial. So by introducing the nematodes, we are hoping that they are going to basically target the damaging pests that are present in our soil uh, and help protect those. So we will also be mixing up a package of that and we will show you uh, what its targets and how we're going to introduce it to the soil. Okay, so it's time for us to apply the nematodes to our raised beds. These are the two boxes of nematodes that we have. This one to the left is for the chafer grub. Like we said, this is the same nematode that attacks wireworm. And this is the general applicator, the biological fruit and veg protection, which we'll be applying to all of our raised beds, as well as our fruit trees. As mentioned, we have reclaimed our veg patch from grassland that didn't look dissimilar to this a few months ago. Uh, and we are surrounded by a lot of agricultural land and fields. 
so there is a lot of biodiversity and a lot of potential pests around so as i said we've been working through our soil uh, i've come across insects and bugs that i have not been able to recognize and we just don't want to destroy and kill them just for the sake of doing that so what this nematode cocktail actually targets is carrots and cabbage root fly uh, we are growing cabbages and we are growing carrots so that'll definitely come in handy uh, it also targets onion fly uh, quite a big range of different caterpillars and moths so this is definitely something that i think is just a good precautionary measure to do we'll be applying it to the veg patch now we will start with the the general one uh, it is a little bit easier to mix up and what you're going to need for this is obviously water a watering can with a rose and well, we want a teaspoon and some scissors to get into the packaging in terms of the instructions this pack fills eight watering cans at five liters so our watering can is 10 liters so we're going to basically divide the contents of our nematode pack into four and we will then put it in there so each bed is going to get half a watering can and that way we'll get really good coverage across all of our beds okay so i'm going to open this to give you an idea of what this looks like it basically comes covered with a plastic film uh, the film does come off quite easily and when you open the the contents you'll see that some of them stick to the film and it's basically almost like a paste so we have to divide this into four even type portions which i will do and this will now just get added to the watering can and we'll just stir it through and it actually stirs through really really easily i'm just going to take a teaspoon we're just going to put that in there i'll probably just give it a bit more because that was one of the smaller pieces there we go i'm just going to put that in there and we're just going to stir that up and it does dissolve quite quickly like i said you can see it's just floating around if we just leave it here for a minute or two it'll completely dissolve as we stir the water This is the chafer grub killer nematode the one that we're using for wireworm you can see it's a far bigger pack it is a bit more expensive uh, but it does give you far more coverage so what i'm going to do with this nematode is i'm going to divide it into 10. even though we've only got two beds that are growing potatoes i will definitely give those an extra shot but i do want to spread it throughout all the other beds in case the worms can uh, move between beds and then we are also going to apply it to the borders outside our veg patch where we are also growing stuff where I have encountered wireworm uh, when pulling up the turf. So we just want to make sure that we create a bit of a perimeter with regards to the wireworm and definitely make sure that we try and get rid of as many of them that are actually present in our soil. So the procedure is exactly the same as with the other nematode. There's nothing complicated or tricky about uh, dissolving the stuff you literally just teaspoon it into the watering can pour the water through and it basically just dissolves very very quickly and you just water it in so that's what i'm going to do now and that'll be our nematode session done for today there we go we're all done we have now introduced 50 million of the wireworm nematodes and 10 million of the other beneficial nematodes so they're all in the soil the other thing I just wanted to mention is that uh, wireworm not only attacks potatoes, even though it is renowned for that, but it does have a tendency of also going after other root veg. So we've actually got onions that are uh, this year planted around different areas, just around the periphery. So we've ensured that they got a little bit of extra of the wireworm nematode. And there's also been articles that I've read where they've attacked carrots. So basically all root veg. So I, was, uh, I just applied a little bit of extra uh, of the wireworm nematode in those areas. And what I've done is I've taken the hose now that we've applied it all. 
and I've just watered the soil a little bit further just to make sure that they get introduced into the soil they get under. Obviously they are living organisms and they do require water so you do need to ensure that the soil does remain uh, moist uh, and hopefully they will with time be able to get deeper into the soil and start to address uh, some of the pest issues that we hope that they will help us with. So that's it for this video. The nematodes are in. Uh, we will now only find out whether they've worked in about three or four months from now once we start to harvest a lot of our root veg. So fingers crossed that our potatoes, our carrots and our onions are unscathed and that the nematodes have done their work. We really hope that they will succeed because we have put a lot of time and effort into this veg patch this year. We don't want to use pesticides and chemicals to control various pests. So hopefully they will be controlled by the nematodes. Um, we will be doing a follow-up video to this when we start to harvest our vegetables. So if you'd like to see those and not miss out on that video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in our next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. You can also follow us on Twitter or check out our website at myhomefarm.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. We hope to see you on our next video.